on Billy Joe's sister. Master Captain, you couldn't be more wrong. That is the story of my life. Billy Joe and I were close, as brother and sister could be, mercy. But you just said that you didn't see much of your brother. Well, not now, of course. Him being in music and me in the theater. But when we was young ones, you just couldn't separate us. I do believe the only reason Pa took me along from the home was because Billy Joe wouldn't go without me. Miss Tate, what home? Where? Well, Billy Joe and I, we come from a Fallon home. Didn't y'all know that? Pa Tate, he took us in when we went by Cotton High. Hmm. Guess it was better than nothing, but I surely don't like remembering. Uh, what don't you like remembering, Miss Tate? Miss Tate? Well, to put it kindly, Pa wasn't exactly the kind to be raising up young uns. He was scary, a big, tall man with the loudest voice I ever did hear. I never once heard him laugh. I never heard him do anything but yell. Mostly a Billy Joe, poor darling. Let that poor child want to play some, have a little fun. And he'd shout that thundering voice, shout about hellfire and doom and terrible things are coming. I swear I don't know why I didn't drive the child right into the asylum. That's what finally made Billy Joe leave home when he was grown enough. I mind the day he left just as plain. Pa was swearing the same old things, even swearing to put a hex on Billy Joe. Billy Joe couldn't get out of there fast enough. Oh, that's my cue, Captain. Well, it certainly has been nice chatting with you. Uh, where's your stepfather now? Down home, last I heard. I left home ten years ago, Captain. We never went back. I love applause, even whistling. But I purely can't stand yelling. You come back and see me, yeah? 